Hi, I'm Samantha from Dance Parent 101 and I have just bought some new ballet shoes. I bought a pair for myself and a pair for my daughter and both of them have come with elastics and both of them have different types of elastics. The ones that I bought for myself have some pre-sewn elastics but the pre-sewn part is only at the back and at the top and that's because these ones are crossover and it, it will allow me to um, determine how tight I want them on myself. So I'm going to sew those in and I'll show you how to do those. As well as these ballet shoes with one elastic and that elastic will just go over. It's a single elastic and that will just go over the top there and I'm going to show you how to do those as well. I'll start off with the single elastic. So for the single elastic what you need to do to determine where it's going to where you need to sew that first piece in. You simply just fold down and then you're going to get a line here. And that will tell you that is where you should be placing your first elastic. And then you're gonna sew that in. Now I've got a variety of colors of thread here and I don't have a light pink one, but that's fine. Um, I think for these shoes, I'm just going to go for a cream color and I'm going to start sewing that in. And just cut that off. So all I've basically done is gone, started on this side and stitched across to that side, done a knot on the other side, stitched across back here, all along that seam line. There's a line of stitching there. Okay, and now it's to the time to do the other side. But before I do the other side, um, I wanna put my daughter's foot in there so I can see how tight it really should be and tighten the strings at the top so that I can make sure it's the right fit for her. So I will go and get her so we can go do that. Is that too tight around here? No. The elastic? And so I've just done a knot on that. It's up to you what you want to do. You can just do a double knot here and then cut these and then you tuck them under under there. Okay, and now for this. So I'm just pulling it. I don't want to pull it so that I can see like skin popping up on either side. I'm just pulling it. Okay, that's all I needed you for for now. <laughs> and so I've just held that, but say you weren't able to do the sewing straight away, um, or actually like me, I've probably got to put it down can grab a safety pin and safety pin that in place or a regular pin, whatever type of pin, um, to put that in place. Because the other thing I need to do is make sure that I fold it over. So we want them exactly in line. Make sure that middle seam is in the middle and fold it over. You can see that I've got it um, a bit up so I need to move it closer that way and now it should be 
straight. It's a bit harder to work out now because I pulled, pulled these closed. So everything's a bit all scrunched up and a bit harder to see and make sure everything's even. So it's up to you. You might like to do that last um, so that it doesn't all scrunch up. Another way is also I've flipped it over to the back so that you can see where that crease is and line is and it's right there. So now I grab my thread and because I have tightened this, I need to make sure that where that this part here is nice and pulled and then I am going to create a little knot first. And then I might actually even put that, put my elastic around the outside as well, just so that I can get in here a bit lot easier. I'm going up in my elastic and across. Okay, so you can see now that I've tied that, how much harder it is for me to hold and manage this as I'm doing it. So. If you can not tie that part yet and leave it nice and flat, you're gonna find it much easier to sew these on. Just that it's not something I do every week. And I forgot. So this is a good tutorial on how not to sew elastics on. Lucky I have another shoe and I will do it the right way next time. I'm up to the other end. And at the end, doing a knot. And then cutting that off and then that is ready for her to wear. Simple as that. So even though that time I did it the wrong way, I should not have tied this first, it made it a lot harder, it's still easy to get done. hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon. Okay then, bye.